a warm hello to the students of standard 3 today we have yet another topic in english grammar conjunctions now children you have studied conjunctions in the earlier classes you may or may not remember but i'm sure all of us use these small important words daily in our conversation in our writing now let us refresh our memory and learn what are conjunctions conjunctions are joining words they join words now two words in a sentence like tom and jerry ravi and sunita let tea and coffee these kind of words when two words are there in a sentence they join it they connect those two words phrases phrases are groups of words and even two sentences now most commonly used conjunctions and now i am sure you remember and but or so because therefore does that ring a bell yes i am sure you do remember it now so let us move on to the most commonly used conjunctions that we will be learning this year now i personally like to call these conjunctions like glue words you know what the glue does it does the sticking of two things right when you use craft paper or something else that you need to stick you use a glue stick for sticking so these conjunctions are glue words or you may call the fevicol words and these are and but or so and because now let us learn the usage of these words now and and is connecting or adding more information or one thing to the other like i said tea and coffee juice and sandwiches tom and jerry but but is when two different sentiments are expressed when two contradictory or different sentiments like i studied hard but i did not win the competition or i ran fast but i did not miss uh, but i did not win the race actually when you run fast you should the idea is that you should be winning the race but shows a contrary or a different result so but is contradicting or shows something unexpected ravi studied hard for the test but he failed so this is what but is doing it connects when two contrary sentences are there or or gives you a choice do you want to go to the beach or the zoo do you want tea or juice is that your sister or your aunt two different choices okay and so so means when when something is the result of something uh, i was late so i took a taxi or um, i did not study so i failed in my exam so is a result of something when you do something and you get a result that is called so okay i practiced well and so i won the competition okay so is also used with and sometimes many a times because because gives you a reason okay it shows a cause and effect so suppose you say uh, i took an umbrella because it was raining okay so uh, i am studying hard because i have a test tomorrow 
because i went to the village because there was a wedding in the family because is a reason so i'm sure you are using this aren't you in your daily life okay but now we actually give them a title they are conjunctions so let's study a few conjunctions here we have our first sentence now actually they are a pair of sentences they are two sentences we went to the store we bought ice creams now it is adding we went to the store we bought ice creams what will you use to connect these two sentences you're right we went to the store and bought ice creams we went to the store and did something so and bought ice creams now when there are when the words are connected with a conjunction one point to remember is that first of all you will take away the full stop and the next letter will not start with a capital letter because now it has become one sentence so you take away the full stop and also do not use a capital letter in the middle and one more thing that to note see here in this sentence it is starting with v and again the next sentence is starting with v so you can actually take away that v also because we don't need to repeat it we have connected the sentences so we went to the store and bought ice creams got it i have removed that v now because again it is repeated we can do that as well so the sentence is connected and it becomes one sentence so the full stop is removed the capital letter is removed from the middle because a conjunction comes in and it becomes one sentence here we have the next sentence for you we can go to the beach by bus we can walk two choices again they are both starting with b so we can go to the beach by bus or there is a choice given we can walk so what will you use here we can go to the beach by bus or we can walk or choice when two choices are given okay here i have kept that v we can remove that v also or we can keep it also see we can go to the beach by bus or can walk is also perfectly correct rahul ran fast he missed the bus if you run fast you should get the bus here he missed the bus so something unexpected contrary when something contrary happens what will you use rahul ran fast but he missed the bus contrary if he runs fast he should get the bus but he missed the bus contrary now what do we have here kavya did not come to school yesterday she was unwell there is a reason she did not come to school she was unwell now here we have reason means because kavya did not come to school yesterday because she was unwell because when there is a reason given note that i am dropping the full stop in the middle and the capital letter on the also in the middle when the conjunction comes in remember to do this when we are connecting two sentences this is very important to remember that you drop the full stop and the capital letter of the second sentence moving on to the next sentence the children went to the park they played on the swings more information the children went to the park and played on the swings 
see i have dropped that they because it is talking about the children we have already talked about the children there is no need to say the children went to the park and they played in the swings and played in the swings notice again when the conjunction comes in the full stop and the capital letter of the second sentence is dropped in fact i have taken away the second sentence first word only because it is talking about the children only okay mm -hmm. what do we have here it was raining heavily i carried an umbrella reason it was raining heavily like that only i did not just like that i did not carry an umbrella i carried an umbrella and so i carried an umbrella it was raining heavily so i carried an umbrella there is a cause for it why i carried an umbrella it was raining heavily so i carried an umbrella gopal is studying hard he has an exam tomorrow now you know why gopal is studying a why comes here so a why is a reason so here you have gopal is studying hard because he has an exam tomorrow a reason okay it was very cold the children wore sweaters it was cold that is the reason why the children wore sweaters it was very cold so the children wore sweaters okay so here we have a few sentences of for uh, your practice today and i am sure you will be doing a fantastic job in your exercise also because these are things that you use these are words that you use day in and day out in your life now you know the title for these they are conjunctions they are joining words they join two words or two sentences or two phrases groups of sentence a groups of words together so practice the exercise which is given with it and uh, good luck to you all and do a good job thank you